Hello, I'm Jim Mellis, owner of Michigan Bamboo Company. I'm going to go over some basic bamboo info and show you how to plant a bamboo plant. We have two types of bamboo we can grow in a climate. There's running and clumping. The majority of bamboo that grows in zone 6 is running bamboo. If you're looking for the heavy cane look, you're definitely going to have to go with the running bamboo. Uh, there's David Bissett bamboo, green groove bamboo, yellow groove bamboo, or nuda bamboo. All of those varieties mature anyway, anywhere from 14 to 20 feet. If you have a site with good wind protection, you know, they can grow a little taller. The three clumping bamboos that grow well in our climate are blue fountain bamboo, red fountain bamboo, and green panda bamboo. Clumping bamboos are great for people that are worried about their bamboo running. You can just plop it in the ground and you don't have to worry about it spreading anywhere. Generally, you're not going to get the heavy cane look, but they create an excellent evergreen screen. Clumping and running bamboos generally grow once a year at what's called uh, shooting. Generally, all running bamboos and the majority of the clumping bamboos shoot in spring. The new calms grow to full height within 60 days. After that 60 day period is over, that specific column is not going to grow any taller. What's going to happen is next season's growth, the new shoots will come up and surpass last year's growth. So as the plants mature year by year, the shoots get bigger every season. It takes a few years for bamboo to establish, especially running. Generally for running bamboo, it takes the third season till you have really good sized columns. Generally season one and two you just get a large number of combs and it's usually a third year they make a big leap let's say from eight feet up to 12 to 14 feet. Uh, as far as clumping bamboos grow, they grow a little more consistent pace. Generally you get around a foot of height and a foot of width per year out of them until they reach their matured height and width. Another use for bamboo is erosion control. They are extremely effective at stabilizing banks and working where fabrics and no other plants can stabilize the soil. You can use plants from the smaller ground covers to tall phyllostachyses that grow about 20 feet tall. Now I'm going to go over the steps of planting a new bamboo plant. I dug the hole two times as wide as the container and approximately four inches deeper. We're going to add four inches of compost to the bottom, so what we want is to plant up here at grade. We're going to take the soil we dug out of the hole and make a three to one ratio three parts soil to one part compost. Our soil's a little sandy, so we might add a little extra for this specific planet. See the sandy soil is adding organic matter. So if you have to Dispose of some of your soil to improve it with more compost, that's fine. Alright, I'm satisfied now that we got enough organic matter in the sandy soil. Now we're getting ready to plant the dwarf yellow striped bamboo. For running bamboo containers, especially ours, we let them, we can kind of grow our plants for a year. So you're generally going to have to cut them out of the container. Now we can get an idea if our hole's approximately the right size. We have to look, remove a little compost. It's not really a big deal, but I think we're about perfect there. As you're planting it, make sure you compact the soil to make sure there's no air pockets.
What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually add some compost to the top of the soil around the area. Soil is very sandy and all the rutted bamboos are extremely shallow rutted so it's just a matter of adding some extra organic matter on top of the soil and I'll break it down and make it more higher nutrients. Now we're going to add some mulch. Uh, you could go just with the compost but you'd want to apply it a little thicker than that. I like to apply the compost down then go over it with some wood chips, this red pine bark mulch. Now we just spread the mulch over evenly. It's important to have two to four inches of mulch on your bamboo. If you don't add the mulch to your bamboo, your plants are going to grow significantly slower. Now the plant is complete except for adding water. When you plant a new bamboo plant, figure to put around four or five gallons of water on it after you plant it. After you add the five gallon bucket of water, you're going to want to water your plant two times deeply for the first week, then once a week thereafter. Make sure it's a deep water and have the hose run on the plant, let's say five minutes. From that point on, generally after the second season, the bamboo will no longer require any additional water. Bamboo, if they are stressed and they need water, they will curl the leaves in and let you know. So it's important to look at the leaves of your plant and make sure they're not curled in. This plant has already been fertilized for the season, but you will want to fertilize your bamboo generally at the beginning of April. And then once again, at the beginning of July, you can simply use a triple 12 fertilizer, or if you want to go the organic route, you can do a mixture of 75% blood meal, 25% bone meal. I generally recommend fertilizing your bamboo until you get it to where you want. Example of care for this specific plant, most ground cover bamboos that mature two feet tall, you actually cut down to the ground in the spring just like any other ornamental grass. I want to go over some site select sites for bamboo. Generally for clumping bamboo, prefer partially shaded areas. The green panda bamboo can handle full sun in our climate. For the red end bamboos, they're a little bit more versatile. Most can live from full sun to full shade. If your site is partially soggy where you want to plant, you will have to berm up the area to plant on. If your soil is heavy clay or heavy sand, you're going to want to add a lot of organic matter to the top of the soil, two to four inches of composted manure. If you can rototill in, rototill it in, that's a bonus. Other than that, the safe time to plant bamboo and our climate is from April 1st generally to around the beginning of October. I hope this information was helpful to you. If you have any more questions, feel free to send me an email at jim at mibamboo.com or give me a call at 248-298-9568. Thank you.